So as we can see here, the bearing race is still on the old hub. What I did with the other hub is I used a, a chisel right here and I, uh, I hammered until the, the race moved enough for me to get my, the forks from my puller behind there and then pull it off. undercoating oil on the top. Some of these places underneath the car are kind of prone to rust so I figure while I'm in there why not. So I'm gonna go put some uh, some oil on the top on the car itself as well before I reinstall this. So I just finished re reassembling my first rear strut for the Miata here. The installation manual of the Monster Miata conversion kit tells you to use your front spring, cut one full coil off of it, and then install that spring on your back uh, rear strut. Here I've got a brand new clutch fork, and the reason I've got a brand new clutch fork is that my old clutch fork, uh, the one that came with the transmission, that little retainer spring clip here that holds the uh, throw bearing, uh, one of the sides was snapped off. So uh, I had to buy a new one, and it requires the kit installation manual requires you to drill a 7 16 inch hole in it for the uh, the clutch, you know, for this this little guy to go through and push on the uh, clutch fork. It's important to know that that has to be done with a carbide tipped drill bit because this is hardened steel, it is very dense. Um, I did have some fun with that, I didn't get footage of it. Uh, since I don't have a drill press, it's a little bit harder to do. But anyway, I got the hole in there and uh, so we're good to go. So it's time to install the clutch fork and then get the bell housing on the car. It's time to mount the original slave cylinder to the Mustang's bell housing. All right, let's get this bell out. And guess what? Three packages from Summit Racing waiting for me right at the door. Yes. <laughs> you know what this is, eh? <laughs> yes, a Hurst shifter. Check <laughs> this out. Hurst shifter. You know how cool that's gonna look in the Miata? Very cool. <laughs> yes. This is to fabricate my exhaust. Old, new. I'm thinking the new one looks a lot better.
kit comes with a custom shift stick and uh, at the bottom it's built with a little bracket that moves it back a little bit and off to the right. So obviously you can't use that shift stick if you want to use this shift stick, this nice Hearst one. So um, you kind of got to build something custom. So I spent the better part of the night uh, fabricating this little bracket here, which I think will, will do the job uh, just, just right. Oh yeah, check this out. Hearst shifter. Shifts pretty nice. I'm really liking this. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, this sh shift boot looks pretty distorted because I managed to fit the whole bracket inside it, but not much choice. The one thing I'm not uh, too fussy about is this little piece of rubber that the V8 Monster Miata kit comes with. And this is meant to replace the original stock boot from the Miata. Now this, I like. This was, this is nice. This, you're supposed to stick the shifter right through this hole and uh, I guess stick the rest of the rubber underneath the carpet, but I feel like every time you're trying to shift, it's trying to move this whole thing. The 8.8 .8, uh, differential that I picked up at the junkyard cleaned up pretty good. I put the same paint on it as on the engine block, that metallic charcoal gray. And it seems like it did a great job. And I put some new carrier bushings in there, the red ones there that you can see. Threw those old junk ones in the garbage. And a bit to throw it on the car. Notes for next time, make sure your transmission's in neutral so that you can, you know, play around with the drive shaft. And I also had to lower the differential a little bit.